Good morning everyone. Today we are on day eight and the sketch we are using is by Kristen Foster and I it has a white border or a it might have a polka dot page but um, then it has like another color here a smaller it looks like a 10 by 8 and then it has three pictures it has strips and then it had these polka dots on it and they could be punched out or they might be part of the paper so that's what we're doing today and on my um, bingo board I am gonna have multi photos enamel dots circles chipboard and foam letters so not very much on the list today but that's quite all right and I am using this paper and it is from craft consortium and it is the grunge dark tones which I could not find the paper or the cover for so I just know that's what it's called because I had the dark and I had the light so okay so I've cut this down to a 10 by 8 and I'm gonna put that in the middle oh did I show the pictures I did not this is Brenna she's the oldest granddaughter it looks like she was drinking something orange because she's got a great big smile beyond her mouth and um, she was playing with what was called kids dough so I'm actually gonna call it that because I think it's just so funny that's called kids dough and it must have been at Christmas time we were probably playing games or something and she was playing with the play-doh and so or in this case kids dough so I'm gonna be using these three pictures I think they're adorable um, this time I'm not gonna mat them because they are bigger than the pictures in the um, sketch so I'm going to use them like they are because they're gonna overlap okay and so this one I've got it up two inches and I'm putting it an inch from each side so that should be the middle as long as my ruler was really straight yep okay and then I have cut strips that are um, one inch wide because that's what they look like in the picture and I am going to kind of guesstimate where they need to be because they go up and down in the picture so I'm going to pull one down here this one down there and I made these 11 inches so they're 11 by ones and then I'm going to pull this one up a little pull this one up a little bit so that's how they're going to look so I'm going to put them down now this is the girl who carried her Winnie the Pooh around with her and I'm sure she still has him today so I am going to I didn't have any um, play-doh which I can't even believe I thought I probably had some in the my old creative memory stickers but I could not find any and so I am going to use Winnie the Pooh because I can't imagine who else I who else's page I could actually put Winnie the Pooh on and I still have more than than what I have here so I would just feel like I was putting them on wrong page if I put them on somebody else's besides hers because she is the Winnie the Pooh girl she took them to Florida and lost them and um, her aunt searched and searched to find one like it because the one that she had had a pink he had on pink pajamas and a pink hat 
like nightcap. And so she searched and searched until she found one. That's what I call a dedicated aunt. <laughs> Because she was heartbroken that it was missing. Okay, let me get this back in the middle so I can figure out where this goes. Because I am winging it. Because a lot of it's going to be covered up. So I don't want to spend too much time fretting over where it's going to be. Do people still fret? <laughs> As soon as I said it, it sounded funny. It's like, I don't think I ever hear anybody say, don't fret. I know um, in the Bible it says, fear not. And it says it over 365 times. So we have one for each day. And then some. So I know we're not supposed to fear. So we're probably not supposed to fret either. <laughs> and that's my sermon for today. <laughs> Can't get that little dot off my paper. After this, I'm going to have to go clean up my mess. I have so many things laying out. Okay. So I think I'm going to have... This one up here, and this one here, and this one here. Maybe a little closer together, because I've got to have room for, I'm going to put Silly Old Bear, which Piglet says. Oh, and I'm pulling off the back. So I'm going to put Silly Old Bear here. And let's see if that's straight. Okay, that should be good there. And then I'm going to put Piglet right here. Okay, yep, so it's safe for me to go ahead and tape this down. Because I had to make sure there was room for Piglet. And this is 2007. I need to write that someplace. You know, I can't tell you how many times I need a piece of paper here. <laughs> I'm going to put 2007. Okay. a little ways from the edge and let me make sure I have it straight I wish this um, ruler laid a little flatter Okay, that works. And then I'm going to put her here. And above that, I'm going to put... I ran out of wax paper on this piece. <laughs> I'm going to put kid dough, or kid's dough, probably right about there. Now i got to make sure I have enough room for Eeyore right here. So actually I can push that up a little bit because that's how everything is going to be. Okay, I think I'm going to tape her down first. I just need to leave enough room for Eeyore and bring her over 
and ways. And here I have that problem again. Oh, I can't lay that flat enough to figure out if it's straight. Okay, that looks straight. That looks like I have the same amount of space on each side. Got Eeyore there. Oh, wait a minute. Where's his little words? Because I think his words need to go underneath him. Do I have enough room for that? Nope, I'm going to have to slide her down just a little bit more. Because I need room for Eeyore and his words. I almost just skipped the title since I have all these little um, sayings. But I really wanted to have Kids Dough on there because I thought that was just so cute. Okay, so that should be good there. And this is going to go in the middle. And with my green, not straight. Seemed like it at the time. But I'm sure what is showing will not matter. Okay. And I'm going to put this in the middle. I'm going to put, oh, she is not touching the ground. <laughs> okay. It's so weird because part of it is um, taped, but whatever is supposed to be taped is not holding her down. Okay, that should be good. Okay, so now if I don't lose oh brother, I will tape that down. And Eeyore. I had them taped into my sticker on my theme books. Okay, just enough room for Eeyore. You should be happy about that. Okay, and now I'm going to put dough right here. I can get this on here without having to adjust it a hundred times like sometimes I think there's hardly any letters I should be able to get through it okay now for the one that I got to be careful with because you know how they like to stick if you put them on top of a picture right here. And I don't have too many primary colors. It was tough to, you know, find primaries and then trying to find letters was another tough job but I think these ones look pretty good okay 
whoops, knocked over that eye. And I'm going to put the o or the dot over just a little cockeyed because I like to see that sometimes. It looks more playful and kid-like. Okay. Okay, and I also have these little dots that I'm going to be putting around. And I've just punched them out of the same paper. But I'm going to first put Piglet down. Piglet's going to be right here. Okay. Oh, and Pooh. Couldn't forget Pooh. I mean, that's the whole reason to put the other ones on here. And I'm just going to park Pooh almost to the bottom of the page but overlapping two of the pictures and then I have Pooh's Honey Pot as long as I can get the wax paper off it. Okay, do I want to put this? I guess it will not fit there so it's going to have to go over here oh yeah I did have it over there it's all coming back to me now now that I looked at my picture. <laughs> oh, am I even in the screen? Okay, now we'll glue him down here afterwards. So I'm going to put that... I think I'll put it overlapping the purple too. And I'm going to put the little honey pot on here. And do I want to put that right up there or down here? I think I'm going to stick it right down there. Okay. Now I, I've have made three of each of these um, circles. If I can. I've lost one of them. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to put one of each of them kind of I'm going to try to scatter them so it looks like it's random but you know there's no random so I think I better tape them and then I can glue them later okay let me just put the tape on three of them I mean five of them because I have five colors and then purple so I have the primary colors and the secondary colors. Okay, so now I have orange, so I think I'm going to stick that over here. And I have green, so I'm going to put that. Well, let me put it here on the purple because I love green and purple together. And then I have a blue. I'm going to stick that kind of, maybe by the yellow. I'm going to kind of try to go back and forth, putting them in different places. Okay, and we have a yellow, so I'll put that here by the blue. Okay, then I have a red. And where do I want to stick that? Maybe here. Okay, and I'm going to do another set because I know I can fit two of each and maybe more. And you know, it, it's like I don't, I want enough to hold it in place until I glue it because I don't think um, I don't think the tape holds it real well because I have gone back and found things where they were not taped well okay where do I want to put this maybe here 
And now I have a blue and I have a blue here. Okay, I'm just trying to kind of spread them around. And then I have yellow, I have yellow, yellow. I'm trying to put them in different places where they're not right next to each other. And here's another red. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let me see if I can put some more, because I do like the dots. Here's a yellow, I got one here, that can be one up here. Put it over the red. I have an orange, I have one orange there, there. Maybe down in here. And I have a green here, here. So maybe here. And I have a blue here, here. So we can maybe go here. And one more red, and I have a red here and here. So where is this one gonna go? Hmm, hmm, difficult. Okay, I don't wanna put it right next to the red. Maybe here, okay. Okay, so, and now I'm going to put some blue enamel dots and kind of up in three places. By Pooh, by Piglet, and by Eeyore. And then I'm going to use some yellows. Use the little ones of those. So I'm going to kind of do the random mix of the primary colors. And then red. Okay. Let me stick one over here. Eeyore's or by Piglet here. Maybe there. And another red one. If I can pull it off the paper over here by Poo. Okay. So, oh, I forgot my little flower. Okay, so who is this going to go by? Kind of was thinking by Piglet, but he's already pink. Let me just kind of maybe. I think I'm gonna just kind of put it off this yellow piece right there. Okay. So this is. Where's my sketch again? Okay. This is today's sketch and tomorrow we'll be back with day nine so remember to go and check out the other people that are playing and um, there's two links below one goes to the Facebook group and then the other one goes to the other videos that people have linked to it and like you can link onto the video and like link onto one and just let them play all day if you wanted to <laughs> I usually go in and kind of pick one just because um, it's like I've been so busy lately. It's like all the people I like to watch and I haven't even got to watch them. And I know there's new people that I've been, um, I've, tr you know, sampled a couple of new ones too that it's like I like to watch. So it's like, it's, it's just fun to see what everybody does because how the same sketch can be so different. So have a wonderful day. I will have close-ups at the end and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.